Sotheby's is really excited to be offering not only one of the original Apple ones, but one of the first 50, one that is fully operational and the one that is known as being in the best condition. The iPhones that we used every day, all of the Apple products, that none of that would have happened if it were not for the popularity of the Apple one. It is really the product that helped the public understand that they could take a computer home and it didn't require a PhD. It really revolutionized how the world interacted with computers. This Apple One is one of, if not the best Apple One in existence. These computers were hand-built by Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak back in 1976 and Steve Jobs' mom's garage. They sold off whatever they could to get the money to hand-build these motherboards. And, th and that's all you got, really, was the motherboard. They made a prototype and they were going around, they went to this place called the Homebrew Computer Club and they were doing demonstrations. And this guy named Paul Terrell, who owns a computer store known as the Byte Shop in Palo Alto, saw them. Jobs tried to get him to buy one computer and he said, you know what, no, I'm gonna take 50. Never in their wildest dreams did they think they were gonna sell 50 of these computers at once. And then they took the cash from those 50 and they bought another 200 boards. So we know that there were only 250 original Apple ones made by hand in the garage. The ones that collectors want are from that first batch of 50 because those are really the originals. But if it doesn't work, what are you going to do with it, right? You really want one that is fully operational. And what's really exciting with this board is it functions beautifully. And I think that's in part because it was never tinkered with. Nobody sat down and messed around and switched out different parts. And one of the problems that Apple once had is every time you powered them up and electricity cycled through it, the heat sink on the underside of the board would get hot and the paint would bubble up and chip off. So you can tell how many times a board has been used by how much of that paint is chipped off. And on this board, None of it's chipped off. It's in the most pristine condition you can imagine. The person who bought it knew something was important about it and just kind of set it aside. It's a very different experience powering up an Apple One from you know your MacBook or your PC where you just kind of turn it on and it's ready to go. You had to first power it up, you take your cassette tape, put it in the cassette player, attach that to the motherboard, you had to then enter in your commands, enter in the program, and then you would start to see things on the screen. And it's something that is so foreign to digital natives or people who were born after 1990. You know, computers are so different from how they were at that time. It's also really exciting, I think, for younger people to see how this all started, where it all began.